Hi. Hi. Okay. Hello, friends. Uh, welcome again. And today I have another job. I have to uh, fix the chair. Wooden chair is beautiful chair. But what happened? The rattan cane webbing broke. So I'm not able to replace the rattan cane webbing. Probably I would be. But the request was to install the uh, finished plywood underneath and they going to put the mat on top of it so i have another seven chair like this uh, the rattan cane webbing is still good but they are afraid to bre break again of that uh, cane webbing and have a fell down any person who sit on it so now i'm going to cut out cut out the inside perimeter of the half inch birch finished plywood install it here and pass it to customer customer will put that uh, seating mat on it and the job is complete right in, or, in order to take the inner dimension and measurement i'm going to use the uh, cardboard as a template cut it around oval and place it closer closer okay Place it on top and mark it underneath. Also. Okay, I believe the wood frame is covered now and I'm going to mark the circle underneath. Sorry, I'm not, I'm not to use work in a blouse, so that makes me a little problem. Anyway. Yeah, I need to make sure it doesn't move and then after I marked it I'm going to trim it that round and this is going to be my template for uh, pieces I'm going to cut off of this I have an eight chair like this so they'll be completed today so one piece is cut out now I'm going to place it underneath and if it's tight it's good, it's gonna hold it to me and flat with the surface frame.
flash just like this just like this okay now uh, it doesn't need to be exact exact because like i said they ha the other seven chairs still has that rattan cane web on it it's just the lady already like they like here uh, so they want it to secure from underneath so it's going to be covered with the net plus the seating mount so to order all this plywood i'm going to use simple l brackets and or corner brackets corner brackets by using this is beautiful ash wood I'm going to put a little bit for each one Pen heads are screws are number eight Robertson head. Okay, after pre drilling to the seat to my ply half inch plywood, I'm going to put the screws around all angles. So now have a look from the top if there is any anything came through. Like this is when I pre-drill, I went a little bit too far and drill it through the plywood. Doesn't matter because it's going to be covered with the seat. But still I'm going to put a little filler to make it nice. Nice and smooth. It'll be here. Shame, but I need to be more careful. Don't feel too far, too much. Yeah, this plywood will hold heavy load, even like uh, 200, 300 pound man or woman, you can sit on it, yeah, you can step on it, you can dance on it. Okay, the reason why I didn't pull this net out completely of this is the trim it's in a groove and if i will start to pull it out look what will happen the trim will pull out and everything from the back seat will be loosened so even over here i'm going to put the glue nail it down to hold it right in a groove Yeah, I can trim it nicer over here. Mm. It will take a little minute, mm. a few minutes. So this trim cannot come out because as you can see it already came out and starting to to loosen the the back. Okay, so I will glue it in.
right now I will hammer this trim inside the booth stretching that a little bit but I'm going to nail it down with the red railing and this like even doesn't hold Push that thing a little bit down. That's all right. nail didn't go all the way in so I have to
Okay, this is this is how it looks now. I'll take a picture with the seating mat on it, and that's the daily base jobs I'm doing. Always variety, different one, and so thank you for watching. If you like it, give it check mark or something like up the finger up, thumb thumb up, and subscribe. Thank you.